Sheikh, a person who is trying to be a better Muslim day by day, but struggles to pray Fajr prayer due to laziness and oversleeping. At the same time, after watching your videos, now he doesn't want to free mix because he doesn't want to commit more sins. But when he advised his family and relatives not to free mix, they countered him by saying, isn't it hypocrisy that you don't regularly pray Fajr but decided not to free mix? And who are you to advise us? You fix yourself first, then come to advise us. So like, that's why he cannot do dawah to them because they counter him by pointing out his weakness. So are they doing the right thing, Sheikh? First of all, each and every one of us must perfect himself to the best of his ability. However, it is not an objective he must reach before he starts to advise people. This is the way of shaitan. Satan is always telling me, oh, no, 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 you should not advise people. You should not give fatwas. You should not preach or give a lecture until you finish a particular number of classical books and read them on trusted shiuch and get a master's or a PhD and get the recommendation of 20 or 30 renowned scholars. By this logic, no one would preach. And in Arabic, we have a saying, if no one preached unless they are sinless, no one would preach except the Prophet No one is exempted and free from sin. We are all up to our necks in sins. This does not mean we do not advise others. Part of our religion and commitment to Islam is to advise people even if we are sinful. So even if I smoke and I see people smoking, I should advise them, Akhi, this is wrong. Now, the norm is ignorant imbeciles would point out your flaws and shortcomings as a form of defending themselves. So even if you go to someone who is a professional assassin, he kills people for money, and you tell him, Akhi, fear Allah, this is one of the major sins in Islam. He would look at you and say, okay, okay, you fear Allah first and cut your nails. You're growing your nails over 40 days and this is haram. Or look at you, you're shaving your beard. Or you don't pray in the masjid. Or you uh, shout at your wife and your mother. And, Subhanallah, what does this have to do with that? So it's their defensive mechanism or defense mechanism to highlight your flaws and shortcomings in order to hide their own flaws and shortcomings. And this is the doing of the jahileen, of the ignorant imbeciles. You've done your due diligence. You've advised them about free mixing. You should fix your own shortcoming in not attending salat for your laziness in fajr. But this should not deter you or stop you from keeping advising them whenever it's beneficial. When they speak like this, ignore them and totally move on. Such people are not worthy of your advice because they are advocates of the devil. They defend their evil by highlighting other people's shortcomings and flaws so that we're both in the same boat. So might as well accept my sins and I'll accept yours and this is not the way of the Muslims, and, and, and may Allah knows, and may Allah Azza wa Jal protect us. Love our content? Show your support with a super thanks today.